it's time to do some savings challenges. Let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, I have my change already um, ready. So let's go ahead and get into it. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Miss V and I am sharing my journey here on YouTube. Um, focus on financial freedom where I can work from home in the future. So yeah, so I'm trying to get my finances in order, even with the change. So let's go ahead and get started. So you know, I do my change weekly because I am a cash budgeter. And this week we have four dollars and fifteen cents. And I always track it on this little cute tracker that I picked up from the Crafty Budgeter for free. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and put our money in here. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I don't think I'm going to be able to wrap anything just yet. The quarters is getting close. This little organizer can be found in, down below in my Amazon storefront. I love it because you can wrap your coins as you go. I'm not one to um, use the coin jars where you accumulate all the coins. Mm -mm. Not me. I like being organized. So this is a form of being organized while I'm saving my coins and you know on the organizer it has a indention at the end it shows you when it's ready to wrap like right there hope you can see that so yeah so that's what we have that's a nice little um look right there so that's the coins well my top then came off let's put this back that's the coins next we're going to do our one dollar savings challenge i'm saving all my one dollar bills this clear container also can be purchased in the my Amazon storefront. I got this idea from the beautiful Budgeting with Simone. She had one on her channel. I was like, yes, I like that because that will um, inspire you to keep saving your ones because you can see them as you see them through the box. So I love it. So you see how many I have? Yay. So this week, this money comes out of my cash envelopes and my husband usually give me whatever ones he has. So this week we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve dollars. Yay. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm excited that I'm getting enough to where well, there's they kind of stand up in the box. Yeah. So like that. So that's that. That's the third challenge. The second challenge. The third one is the zero out challenge where I zero out my balance in my bank account and this week we're gonna do the last three digits i rotate i do the last three digits one week and last four one week and this week we're gonna do the last three which is five dollars and four cents so yeah so now i'll show you the amount that i have already and this money will go towards my mortgage at the end of the year i just love this challenge yay so the zero out challenge five dollars and four cents and the next challenge we're going to do, you know, I got to invest. So we're going to be investing 30, well, I do a total of $31 a month to my M1 Finance. But today is the fifth, yeah, that I'm recording this video. So I'm going to go ahead and color to the fifth. So if you want to know more about beginner friendly, um, investing check out mommy trader she just launched some new products in her shop and i am so proud of her so yeah i purchased her let me show you her workbook and i am going to get it bounded but i laminated the my investing workbook I'll be featuring this on my channel in the future. So yeah, so I purchased this. I laminated the front and the back. I'm gonna go ahead and get it bounded to make it a book. So yeah, thank you, Mommy Trader. Shalise, founder of Mommy Trader and MT, MT, MT1 Finance. Yeah, she has some great content over there on her channel. So that's it. That's the investing challenge. And last but not least, we're going to be doing the 20K challenge. So yeah, you know I'm not going to physically um, keep 20K on me. I created a 20K challenge um, sinking fund. And that's where the money will be housed. 
So right last week, I put 550, 500, and then I did the 52 dollars. And this week, we're gonna go ahead and do 100 dollars. So yeah, this money is gonna be to fund my Roth IRA and do some more financial things I have going on. And then you know, whatever is left will go towards the mortgage. So we should have a total of $652 so far in the 20K challenge. That's all I'm able to contribute this week because I have some more financial obligations. So you know while you're on your financial journey, you will um, experience this thing called life where you, all of your money would not be available, you know, just for your goals. You still have to live life. So I choose to still live life and still do my challenge. Even if I just put $4, I'm going to just keep adding to this challenge until I finish. I did not give myself a deadline because I didn't want to. I put the pressure on myself to do the 20K challenge, but I'm not going to put the pressure on myself to do it in a, in a um, certain time frame. So, yeah. So try to make your journey fun um, where you don't get discouraged because you're already going to get discouraged just with natural things that happen in life. So try not to add any discouragement to your journey. So that's my little tip for the video. So that's it. That's going to conclude this video. We did the coin challenge. We did the $1 challenge. We did the zero out challenge. We invested some money and now we're doing a 20K challenge, which is five challenges. That's enough for me right now. I normally do six, but since I'm doing this 20K, I'm going to leave it at five for right now. So that's it. That's going to conclude this video. This is Miss V. I'm going to continue to show you love. And I'm going to always, always, always try to help you save on some of the things you need so you can get some of the things you want. Thank you and have a nice day. And I will put the person link in the video where I got this, um tracker. Thank you.